popularity of fencing has skyrocketed recently. A lot of fencers use it as a way to get into college. Getting into college has become much more competitive and people are always looking for that leg up. And one of that is that fencing is a unique extracurricular activity that requires not only physical dexterity, but also mental dexterity and technique and strategy. It's a lot like tennis. I like to compare it to an athleticism. It has the same pace, the same tempo as tennis. You have a strip, it's 14 meters long, and you have to stay on the strip, and you fence, you have a machine. And whenever you hit someone, a light will go off on the machine. So there's a lot of athleticism and distance setting, just like martial arts, very similar to martial arts, actually. There are three forms or weapons of fencing. I teach epe, the target area is the entire body, and it's a pretty simple system. There's no right of way. Foil, you hit with the tip end, and the blade is flexible. It's one of the lighter of the three weapons, and the target is only the torso, the front and back. And in saber, the target area is from the hip up, so that does include arms and head. Our club was on this upward trajectory and then with COVID it kind of just ground it to a halt. After a month passed and two months passed, we started wondering what is this going to mean for the kids? What is it going to mean for the competitive ones? There's several clubs that ended up losing more than 50% of their membership. Being a smaller club, that's a bigger hit. The larger clubs, even losing more than 50%, were still able to kind of stay afloat. We had to start thinking, what else can we do to make this work? Because we can't just stay closed, but we're also not going to put our students at risk. So we focus a lot on our online classes. There were two hours, and we focus on both conditioning, a little bit of games, a little bit of technique and strategy. And then like, I think it was maybe five or six months later, we were able to do one day a week outside, and it was on a tennis court. You know, we chose to do everything by the book in order to put our member safety first. We were able to make it work. And so I'm happy that we were able to do that while being as safe as possible. If we can handle something horrible like a pandemic, then we can handle almost anything. It just takes perseverance.